What if the job you're doing right now is already being done by AI and you just don't know it yet? What if Microsoft just analyzed 200,000 real workplace jobs and discovered something that could change your career forever? What if I told you that the data scientists, the people building AI on Microsoft are on Microsoft's naughty list of jobs to be replaced? Today, Microsoft dropped the most comprehensive study ever seen on which job AI is going to be replacing versus which ones are totally safe. Now, there's some pretty funny ones in here, but there's some you won't guess. So they didn't guess, they didn't theorize, they watched 200,000 thousand people actually working with AI and the results are really super interesting. So let's dive into this today. Welcome to Startup Hack, I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so Microsoft just released the largest real world study on AI replacing jobs, and they didn't just make predictions, they analyzed actual workplace conversations and jobs. Now the results, your career might be in more danger than you think, but let's take a look and see where you're at here, right? So Microsoft researchers analyzed analyze 200,000 real conversations between workers and Bing Copilot to see what jobs AI is actually doing today. This isn't speculation or theory. This is hard data from actual workplace interactions happening right now. They created something called an AI applica applicability score. I can't say the word applicability, but AI applicability score. And this measures how much AI can realistically take over different jobs. The study looked at which tasks AI performs successfully versus which ones it completely fails at. So for the first time, we have concrete evidence instead of Silicon Valley hype or guesses about which jobs are truly at risk. Now, what they found is going to be interesting to everybody. Now, one of the biggest ones that's really interesting on here to me, and I'm going to dive into this list here in just a second, is data scientists are actually on the chopping block. Now, you stop and think, wait, data scientists? But this is probably the biggest shocker out of the list to me. Data scientists made Microsoft's list of jobs most vulnerable to AI replacement. These are literally the people building the AI systems and they're getting replaced by their own creations. But here's my take in 25 years in tech, right? Calculators didn't replace mathematicians and it didn't make them obsolete. Actually, it made them more valuable. So calculators made mathematicians more powerful by handling tedious calculations so they could focus on complex data solving problems. So data scientists are still going to exist, but it's definitely going to evolve because the AI engines are actually doing a lot of the work that data scientists did before. Now, a lot of that shifts because we, if everybody knows anything about AI, it is super data hungry. So it's going to evolve and we're going to see these data scientists jobs just change. But what they are today is I think what it's trying to work on. So Microsoft flagged a couple of others here too, but I'm going to go through this list. And so let's break it down here with you today. So this is uh, oops, I jumped a little early. This is uh, working with AI, measuring the occupational implications of generative AI. So read just the first paragraph here. Given the rapid adoption of generative AI and its potential to impact a wide range of tasks, understanding the effects of AI on the economy are one of society's most important questions. In this work, we take a step toward the goal by analyzing the work activities people do with AI, how successfully and broadly these activities are done, and combined with, combined, uh, with the data on the occupations that do these activities. We analyze a data set of 200,000 anonymized and privacy scrub conversations between users and being Copilot, a publicly available generative AI system. So this uh, study has, you know, from uh, from Microsoft, it's been peer reviewed. Um, and so this is actually, you know, this is a good source for it. This is Cornell University, right? So let's kind of dive into the studies a little bit here, right? Now it talks about its generative purposes, right? And it's going to go through and talk about where they were able to gather the data. It talks about what's related work and goes into that. It says our work draws from a comic economic framework, tracing its roots to uh, who do, who uh, decompose an occupation uh, into the task commonly done by the occupation, right? So they're going to define kind of what is an occupation. So the study most similar to ours is recent analysis of, of this one, of Claude conversation focused on the economic activities that users perform on the AI, that AI platform. 
like that. They go through and talk about how they gathered it. They say it came from being co-pilot data, right? The user goals was AI interaction, right? A key insight of our analysis is that there are two distinct ways in which a single conversation with AI assistant can affect the workforce, corresponding to the two parties engaged in the conversation. First, the user has some task in mind which they are seeking assistance from the AI, which we call the user goal. If the user goal is described by some work activity, then the conversation provides evidence that people are seeking AI assistance with that work activity. So it means they need a job done, right? Even in the successful conversations, the AI action user goal may not be the same. For instance, in a research-based task, the user's goal is to gather information uh, while AI's action is to provide information, right? Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.